Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a quick review video of some KKW Beauty products. First of all, I have the cream lipstick in the shade Nude 1 and then I also have the lip liner in the shade Nude 0. So I picked these up because I had my 20% off coupon for Ulta and if you didn't already know, they just started um, carrying KKW Beauty in Ulta. So I went to one of my local Ulta's and picked these up because I didn't really need anything there at the moment, but I wanted to take advantage of the coupon and I've been dying to try uh, the KKW Beauty line. But for some reason, I just never felt like it was worth it to place an order online. Like I wasn't that excited. I wanted to see it in store first. So I ended up picking up these two and they're the lightest of each shade. Nude Zero is the lightest lip liner and Nude One was the lightest lipstick that I saw that they're carrying at Ulta anyway. So um, I thought that these would be a really great nude um, lip combo to try out with my fair skin. And the lip liner is very, very light. So I'll show them both on, but I just wanted to quickly talk about the packaging. First of all, the lipstick packaging is actually really beautiful. It is kind of plasticky and a little bit lightweight, but something about it just still feels um, pretty luxurious, but not like overly luxurious. Like obviously this isn't a YSL lipstick, but I still just like the aesthetic of this. And then the lip liner is just pretty basic. Um, but what I do like is that it's a, I think it's a twist up one. Is it? Oh my gosh. How do you sharpen this? It feels like it's plasticky, but it's not sharpening. Okay, so that's a little weird. I don't know how to do this. I guess you do have to sharpen it, but this is like plastic. I don't know. But um, this is just pretty basic lip liner packaging, nothing to report here. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I have the rest of my makeup done, obviously, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a lip liner. And again, this is in the shade Nude Zero, the lightest one. Right off the bat, this is a really creamy formula, and this is an extremely light nude, if you can tell. So the lip liner is super creamy and nice, and now we're gonna move on to the lipstick, and again, this is in the shade Nude One, and I actually already tried this one, so it's used, but we'll pretend like this is the first time. So this is super light, so I just concentrated it on the middle of my lips and I'm going to just rub it in. So first of all, I just want to say that this is a really creamy formula. But my lips are quite dry at the moment because it's kind of transitioning to fall. So like my lips have just been a little bit dry, even though I like moisturize the heck out of them. So it doesn't really blend that easily. I've kind of had to use my finger to kind of blend it in. But now that it's on, this is kind of the finished look. I think this is a super light, nice nude. I think if you have super fair skin like me and you're looking for a really light, true nude, this is a great option because personally, I find it really hard to find flattering nudes that are actually light enough for fair skin. A lot of the times they just end up being way too deep in color. And this one's actually really light, but it is like a little bit drying and not really sitting too nicely on my dry lips. I wish it was a little bit creamier. But I think we're going for like a little bit of the more matte natural finish. This obviously isn't like a super sheer or um, satin finish lipstick, but it, is, it does say cream lipstick. So I think it's supposed to be like a little bit of a creamy finish. And it definitely is creamy feeling, but like I said, it's just clinging a little bit to the dry patches of my lips. Overall, I don't think I love these formulas. I don't know if they're worth the price. I think um, the lipstick and the lip liner were both like just around or just under $20. So it was a little bit pricey um, when I think you could achieve a similar look with drugstore products, but I just wanted to try a little bit of KKW Beauty. So I was gonna buy it anyway, kind of regardless of the quality, I guess because I was just super curious. Also, I'm wearing my Scott Disick Talentless sweatshirt today. I just felt like it fit the Kardashian vibe of the video. So if you're curious, that's what that is. And um, anyway, this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think down below or if you guys have any tips for using KKW Beauty or what your favorite products from the line are. I'd love to hear from you guys, especially now that they sell it at Ulta. So it's a lot more accessible and like easier to go in store and get. So if there's any products that you think I'm missing out or if you think I should have got a different color, definitely let me know. I love to hear from you guys. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.